Creating samples for your own productions or for commercial libraries is very useful, but can also be a laborious process. This video will show you a workflow in Pro Tools that is both quick and effective. Uh, to simplify the demonstration, I'll be using only a short drum loop in this example, but the process can be applied to most scenarios. In this video, I will show you how to manually cut up samples and how to apply the same functionality using Beat Detective. How to apply batch fades to multiple clips, how to convert multiple edited clips into new original files, and how to batch export multiple clips without using a bounce functionality. The easiest way of cutting up samples is to use the tab to transient functionality and keyboard shortcuts. Ensure that tab is on and that Pro Tools is in keyboard command focus mode. Move the cursor to the beginning of the clips and use the apostrophe sign to move forwards and the letter L to move backwards. Alternatively, you can use tab forwards and alt tab backwards. Once the cursor is at the beginning of the transient, use the letter B for Bravo to cut the clip at the point. Rinse and repeat. This tutorial will not cover Beat Detective in depth. However, here are the basic steps of cutting samples. Open Beat Detective using Command 8, or from the event menu, select Beat Detective. Set it to Clip Separation. Select Clip and press Capture Selection, followed by the Analyze button. Use the sensitivity slider to find the correct transient. Then click the separate button. Batch fading samples is not a bulletproof method to achieve a good result, but it is quick. Please see the creating fades and complex samples tutorial for when batch fading does not yield the required result. Select all the clips and press Command F. As we don't want to apply crossfades, uncheck the create new crossfade box. The default 10 milliseconds is probably too long for what we want to achieve, so change this to 2 milliseconds and then press OK. Select a newly applied fade point and press E for echo to ensure the fades look OK. You should also have a quick listen to the individual clip to make sure that the start and end sounds OK. As all editing in Pro Tools is non-destructive, we need to commit the fades to the clip before we can export them. Open the Game plugin from the Audio Suite menu at the top of the window. Select all the sample and set the following parameters in the plugin. Create individual files and entire selection. Then press Render and the files are now ready to be exported. To export all the samples as individual clips or files, select all the samples and press Command Shift K. Set the desired formats and the destination folder and then press Export. 